Today, I'm gonna try and discuss with you guys everything that I think is going to happen to Cardano in the next couple of months here. Where the price will go and what's the best next move here to do with Cardano. So I highly recommend you guys to watch the entire video to really understand what is happening to Cardano and what could happen to the future of this coin. And of course, if you do enjoy this video, it means so much me if you can like this video and subscribe to my channel. If you have your own strategy here for Cardano, please put it down in the comments. I want to hear what you guys' ideas are for Cardano and what your next move actually is. So let's go and check it out. So first thing first, the price of Cardano right now. We're at 73 cents here for one single Cardano token. The market cap is at $25 billion. The volume here is at 985 million dollars so basically almost one billion dollar here for the volume and we are continuing here to go down and the biggest reason is because of bitcoin so because of bitcoin cardano is also making pullbacks we are continuing here to slowly go down if you go here to the chart this is what you can basically see you can see that from where we are right now if we measure it from the top here to the very bottom right now we had minus 76 percent so minus 76 percent that is a massive massive pullback now most people when they see something like this is basically they're gonna say okay that's it for cardano it's over there's nothing we can do it is going to continue to go down to zero but that's not the right answer because we have historic proof of cardano actually doing the same thing before so if we, I'm going to check out this other one here because we have the, the chart just a little bit longer. So if we go here to the one week chart, if you look at the past, even this chart here doesn't really load the whole chart. So the earliest I have here is basically at for April 2018. So April 2018, look at this. If we measure the previous highs of a Cardano, so this high here, and if we pull it back all the way, so the lowest point it was in this previous bull cycle, we can see that we did go down by 93%. So 93% pullback. Right now we're let's say at 75, like I said. So that means that we can still continue to go down here for Cardano. The possibility is there and it is there because of Bitcoin. Because a lot of people are saying and are thinking that basically Bitcoin will go back and hit $30,000 and there's a chance here we're going to go back and hit, uh, I think, like 26 or like 27. So like 26. There's a chance some people are saying we're going to go to 20K. I don't believe we're going to go to 20K. I do believe that there's a chance we're going to go from 24 to 26 and that's the lowest points we can actually ever go. Because if we actually hit 20K then Bitcoin is going to make a massive reversal and that we are going to continue to make even new lows after that. Because our highs, even if we do make an all-time high, it's never going to be higher than 60, than 70,000, let's say. So it's always, if we, even if we pump back up, it's going to get lower and lower. So I don't believe that that's going to happen. I believe the Bitcoin one day will hit $100,000 or even more than that. But as of yet, as of now, Pullback is there. Pullback can happen here to Bitcoin, especially because we just lost here. We lost this level here, and now we're basically trying to stabilize that at 34,500. 34, the next level is going to be uh, 33,000, and if we even get past that level, then we're going to go to straight here to 30K for Bitcoin. So that is a possibility here. If Bitcoin makes this pullback, so if Bitcoin pulls back over here to 30K, we're going to go, so that's minus 15%. And ADA here in Cardano will go down with Bitcoin. So we still have like this massive area here. This is our last support we have. So 38 cents. So that means we're going to have a pullback here of basically 46%. So 46 to 47% pullback here. And if we do look at it from the all time high, to this level, so from all time high, to this level I just mentioned, like 37 cents, it's about 87. So almost 90% decrease here. If you bought Cardano at some of these levels here at the top, then yeah, you just lost a ton of money. But, but 
if you're just getting into Cardano or do, if you believe in the Cardano in, as a whole, as a what it stands for and what it's going to be worth in the future, then the opportunity to buy Cardano for a 90% discount is absolutely insane. Now, why? It's because, again, we can check out the past here for Cardano and that we can see that even if we had in the past a 90% correction, that Cardano in the next bull cycle did continue to go up and make new highs and actually increase astronomically more than the previous high. But that's what I'm trying to show you guys, that every bull cycle Cardano continues to go up. Now, can we reach like $50 or something like that? I don't really know, but we can reach an all-time high. We can maybe even reach uh, like $5, maybe even, there is a possibility, maybe even like $10, but super far away. I'm not going to estimate that much, but let's say it's going to be, let's just say it's going to go back to the all-time high. Let's just say it's going to go to the all-time high. So, anybody who buys from this area here, let's say, to the all-time high, it's going to be a 700% increase. If we just go back to the all-time high and normally when there's a new bull cycle we do increase even more so let's say it's going to be five dollars so let's go from this low here to the very top let's say five dollars it's going to be a 1200 percent increase here for cardano now that's life changing money because what you need to do basically is try, try to invest as much as possible at this level so because we're entering we basically are guys like we are entering a recession a recession is where everything is going down and everything is going down not just crypto but stocks everything is going down because of that and prices are going up for uh like normal commodities which is really bad that's the best that's the best time anybody can invest because everything is massively cheaper but it's hard to get money then, of course. So whoever accumulated enough money right now, like at these times, is going to become super rich in the next two years, or like a year or two. It all depends on when, when the bull market starts to go up again. I think it's going to be by the end of the year or something like that. Maybe it's going to make a reversal in November, but we are going to see that bull market again. Why? How do we know? It's because of crypto adoption you can see every single day companies are starting to invest into bitcoin car companies are going into crypto right now it's not a time right right now it's not a time for them to just show all their cards to start to do everything but why would these companies accept crypto and start to trade with crypto if they don't think the crypto is going to go back up again it's because they believe that it is actually going to happen, that Bitcoin is going to reach some new highs. Because of that, just because of that, eventually, we're going to hit some new all-time highs, some new highs. So, I'm going to ask you again. Do you want to buy Cardano when it's at $3? Or do you want to buy Cardano when it's at $0.30? Cents? What is the best time to buy? $0.30? Cents? Or three dollars for cardano what do you think do you really think that cardano is just going to stop and not do anything anymore no cardano has its like cardano has its own blockchain it has its own ideas it has a community to back it and just because of all of those factors and because we it survived the last bull run that means that basically it is a long lasting crypto charles hoskinson is always saying that Cardano is a long-lasting project. That's what he wants. He wants Cardano to last for years, tens of years, 20 years. He wants to change the world with blockchain, with his project. And eventually, he will. He is already changing so many lives. When the world starts to adapt to crypto, then is the time when you're going to see that Charles Hawkinson is going to win the game. 12x, let's say 12x. I still think that's an, an amazing number. It's not 100x, of course, but it's a safer bet than just betting on some random coin that maybe can go here to 100x. Now, are, now is not the time to do random high-risk bets. Now is the time to accumulate, 
try to make as much money as you can. It doesn't have to be from crypto, but from other sources, like from your job or something like that. And to save, 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 save. You just save money until we reach some new lows. If we hit this number, you go and buy it right over here. Because if you do, massive chance here for, for us to continue to go up. And that's it. That's everything you need to do. You buy in the red and sell in the green. And that's it. You buy the dip, you sell the high. Of course, there's a, there's a, there's a ton of people who are going to wait, 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 wait for it to all time high. So people, they have, you have some people who can wait like for five years, for 10 years. But most of us can't wait that long, actually. Like we cannot wait that long because a lot of things can happen in the world in 10 years. So the people who can't, you have to do this. You have to buy low, sell the highs. That's it. And then maybe in the next cycle, when you do have a lot more money, then you can think about like putting a lot of money there and just waiting for years and years for it to accumulate. So for now, patience is key until we make some new lows, if we make those new lows at all. So this, of course, there's a chance here the Bitcoin will not break below 30K, but we're going to see. I can't, I can't really say if it's going to go below 30K or not right now. So we're going to see. We're going to see what's going to happen. And we're actually just made a, a bear cross here. So there you go. Another really bad sign here for Bitcoin. So bear cross here at the one week chart. If Bitcoin goes down by 20%, Cardano is going to go down by 40%. And that's exactly how much we have here space. So if you go from this level to this level, it's about 47%. So I'm just telling you guys massive opportunities here a lot of people left crypto there's a lot less views because when people see the red they got they get scared away and they run off but the tiny amount of you who are still here who are watching the charts every single day waiting for those opportunities to buy you are the people who are, make, who are going to make the most profits in the next couple of years in crypto so yeah guys hope you did enjoy this video if you did i mean so much for me if you can like this video comment down below and subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching and see you guys in the next video